The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, folks, I'm going to uh, continue on here with the Dow Jones. This was the action uh, for today on Monday. You can see we were a little bit lower, about 60, 70 points lower overnight. And then we had a big run up here early this morning. I don't remember which one of the Dow stocks it was, but it uh, wouldn't make much difference. They all do pretty much the same thing, but it made the ABCD. And then... You see the market came down several hundred points and then made that beautiful pattern that we like to see, which is the ABCD right at the 382. You'll see there's your A leg right here, B leg, C leg. 382 comes in. Get that thing up there where it belongs. Hello, operator. There's your 382 right there on the money, and now it's starting to back off. Now, the way you would handle this, if you're in this trade, you would put your stop right here because if it re – retracts more than 80% of this, chances are it's going to go higher. So you don't want to be standing in front of it. Your stop would be right about in here. So roughly at the break even at the very worst, which is still up another uh, 40 or 50 points higher from where we are uh, right now. All right. Now let's take a quick look here. We have Mike Moore is going to be our guest on Wednesday for the uh, crude oil and the heating oil and gasoline. And then tomorrow we're going to have uh, – Jeff Hughes is going to be talking to us about some of the really incredible stock picks that he's made um, in the market here recently. <clears throat> he had a, you know, his, his Elliott Wave thing went a little berserk just like everyone else's, but his stock picks were actually doing pretty good. And oh boy, I hear a hailstorm coming, folks. Hang in there, bear with me here. <laughs> okay, here's here's crude oil for tonight. I, this is this is one that was uh, really on my watch list today. But uh, you'll see we got this big pattern up here. But you see, once you make a lower low than this, you have to change this because that means that this A, B, C, D that we're looking at now has been changed. Remember, this is an hourly, so we're looking at 10 days action here. So there was your last major low, okay? Then you had one here on the 22nd, okay? So all I'm going to do now is just draw that down, and you're going to see that's going to bring us in right at that magic number at around 79 27. There it is, 79.27. You want to be watching that uh, for tomorrow. Looking at this on a four-hour chart, you'll be able to see it lines up pretty nicely. There's the 135 pattern right here. But the key here today, folks, man, I really made a really made a silly one here. Look at this. This look at this, look at this low here today, folks. Look at that. I sent this out in the newsletter and everything, and I didn't see it. My my beeper went off. And it, it, it was there for such a short period of time, I didn't see it till much long after it had, that it had happened. But went exactly down to that 382 pattern right there off of that major low. Look at this. This is telling you this thing wants to go higher. You know, it really does. If you just look at this, if this is just what we have here, and this is more than a two-day correction right out of 382, my goodness, you could easily be – and with news out there the way that it is – you could be looking at uh, 83, what, uh, yeah, 8351 without any trouble at all if the war gets any worse over there, uh, wherever they're fighting in Ukraine and uh, not Puerto Vallarta, but it's over there somewhere near the Gulf of Aqaba. Anyway, that's what we're, it's near the Red Sea. Anyway, there's the 3135 pattern to the downside. There's a possibility of where we're going to be heading here if we clear this. And with this big, powerful move here, remember, we had one of these too, but it didn't go anywhere. We had a lot of resistance, and we still do. We still have a lot of resistance right here. But if we clear that, then we're going. The key today was the fact that it went right down to the 382 at uh, 75. Uh, the number was 75.92. The low was 75.80. Shut the front door and raise the rent. Boy, if that's not close... I don't know what is. All right, now we got a couple questions to answer for, for some of our fearless leaders here. Here is a question that brought to us by Tom. 
he's drawing all these lines in, but he says, where in the heck do I find out what's looking with the pattern? Well, as you look at this pattern, you can see the beautiful ABCDs. I have no idea what this stock is. He sent it to me and asked me to analyze it, but forgot to put the name on it. You have an A, B, C, D right here. You have another A. There's a beautiful 1, 3, 5 pattern right here. Notice they're equal retracements. Then you make the final A, B, C, D right at the top, 6608. Then you come down, and you know, see, he's drawing the right you know, he's, he's drawing the right numbers in. You see, he's looking for this right here. You're in a downtrend. So all I did for Tom is I drew the lines in as I would see them. So here's what I'm watching. Here's the line he was looking at. I think because we have lower tops in here, the trend is still down. You can see the action today is still quite. We're heading down to about 58. You have double. You have an A, B, C, D pattern right there. And then you're going to have another one, two, three drive to a bottom pattern down there at around 57. And that's going to be 61% of the whole range down. So that's what I'd be looking at uh, right there. But he didn't do anything wrong. On this run here, if I was watching this, look at the number of days up in the bearish run. We had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven days up. How many this time? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven days up in this run. Nothing mysterious about that. How many days should we come down? Eight days. Where would that take us? Right around uh, the 2nd of March, which would be, uh, that be next week? No, 2nd of March is going to be over uh, on Friday. So we, uh-oh, that's not March. That's February. That would be March 1st is Friday. So I would say March the 4th is where I'd be looking at for a potential bottom in this stock that uh, Tom was looking at. Okay. Now we had another question from one of our fearless leaders, and I really like this pattern right here. This comes from Mr. A.S. <clears throat> Alan Swain over there in uh, uh, UK. Look at the ABCD pattern here on the German DAX, folks. It is absolutely perfect, and look what it does. Makes drive one, drive two, drive three today. Perfect ABCD. Both of these were 1.27s. I mean, boy, that's really a beauty. And look, it rolled over. I don't know what's happened since that time, but if it gets above D, it would certainly be wrong. And that's what the patterns are for, because when you've got them lined up like that and they don't work, get out of Dodge. There's no reason to stand in front of it because there's just no way that you can uh, you can stand in front of it when it's doing that. So pay attention to that particular pattern that was brought to us by Mr. Allen over there in the, the UK. The biggest question I have is, <laughs> where's the market going? Folks, I wish I knew the answer to that. I wanted to show you, and here's where my problem lies, okay? And I, this is where we were in 05, excuse me, in 09, March 5th, okay? Had all those planets lined up. We had the same thing happen this year, but nothing happened from that whole time, their market kept going higher. Now, there was a big aberration there with the earnings of the NVIDIA. Those that exploded. That may have been, but it's still five or six days off. The one thing that I do remember from all the work that I did with Twentyman and Dr. Ruth Miller is on September the 3rd of 1929, there was only one little lunar aspect. I think it was a full moon or a new moon. There was nothing else there at all. I mean, it'd give any indication that that was the top for the next uh, 30, so let me see, how many years was it? 29, uh, 46, for the next 17 years. Okay, we're going to take a break here. We'll be right back, 877-927-6648, and we got to go over a couple other potential trades. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education. 
educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk, so why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. Call, call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, I've got a potential trade set up here for you. If you're interested, this is an ABCD in April cattle. You note that the number right measured to uh, 188.50. That was the place that the ABC cell would have come in. So now remember that this is just a 30-minute chart. And remember, when you're doing these small ones like this, you have to realize that you know you've got to have some parameters for risk. So if you get above here, there's certainly something wrong. So if you sell it at 88.50, it's 88.25 right now. Your risk here is not very much. It's only about $300. But look at this on the same way. They were just looking at the S&P. Count the number of days up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven days up. Then we come down for five days. This should have been seven days up. One, two, three, four, five, six days up instead of seven. And of course, remember, they're still in the day, so we could still make a new high. But this is a this is what we're looking at. Now, what would be the prop? See, our risk here is this amount. Okay, that's only 60 pips. But your profit objective, okay, if you move this over, your profit objective is all the way down here at 180 points. So you're risking 40 points to make 180. That's four to one. That's the ideal situation that you want to be looking at when you're watching something like this. Okay, so that's what we're watching here in live cattle that we're watching here uh, today. Also, uh, regarding the corn, corn had hit a new all-time low today below $4 uh, a bushel. Uh, Rich Anderson uh, informed me over the weekend this is the largest short interest that they've ever seen in the corn market. And that's probably because it keeps going down and down and down. One of these days it's going to turn, but right now that's not just the way it's going to happen. So we just have to wait and see, you know, what happens uh, to that to the next time. Remember, once we went below the four dollar level in corn, we said we have to be a little bit more uh, uh, careful. Now, if we take a look at the wheat market, even the wheat market has sold off quite a bit. Here's we here's where we are in the wheat. This was the last four days, of course. Now, last less the last three months is what I meant. There's your. For our chart, there was a buy point right down in here. We bought it here on the pullback at 71, and we sold it on the retracement up here, which was, you see this distance here? We went from 85, 40 cents. Now watch. 
just go over and see how the market repeats over and over again. So you just move this down and you say that, okay, if it's going to repeat that, what's it going to do? It went exactly to the same spot. This is what Andrew Lloyd Andrew Lowe taught in his book, The Non-Random Walk Down Wall Street, markets repeat with regularity and they are predictable within limits. And the two key words in that sentence are within limits because sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. Like today in the wheat, you notice that the retracement that we had just a little while ago was a little bit shy of the 786. It looked like it went quite a bit below it, and it did. Oh, not quite a bit, uh, four cents, and now we're starting uh, to move back up again. We're on the watch for corn, wheat, beans, oil, all of them to see when we get a turn. But right now, we nibbled at it, took an eight-cent loss last week, and we're waiting to see what happens on the next go-around with that. We'll take a quick look here at the corn because it has my interest up along with a few other folks here. And uh, this, let's just put up Christmas corn right here. Get the daily up. Uh, imagine it's making new lows today. And, it oh, it's reversed. Major reversal. No, not major, but, oh, my goodness, looks like it made the 618. Almost 443, and the low was 444. Wow, within one, within one penny. And, wow, it's up quite a bit. It's already jumped from 446. We've jumped eight cents today. Wow, we're almost taking an outside day to the upside. Let's just take a look at that. Yeah, we already have. There was a yesterday. No, here's the outside day. You have to get above here for it to uh, do that. But it stopped. Uh, wow, within one penny of that long-term. Uh, boy, oh boy, should have been watching that a little better. Yeah, that's close. Let's just. Uh, well, we're we're going to have plenty of chances, but the the open interest. It's so heavily, and it well for everybody long has to be short, and the commercials are the ones that are that are short. So the farmers haven't even begun to plant this stuff yet. So a lot of a lot of ways to go. You can see we had a little bit of a rally and then rolled over. This is the only thing's positive about this is you made a new low and you reversed. That's about the only thing that is possible. You can see here we we made a new low and reversed. Uh, I can't even. This is not even a good three drive to a bottom because the last one, you know, doesn't uh, it doesn't uh, line up very good. There's drive one, there's drive two, drive three should have been down in here somewhere, and it didn't even get there. So that's the only other thing that I'd be paying attention to here. But we have we're going to have plenty of time. The fact that it's done this today uh, is is positive because it did reverse. Let's just look at the nearby corn which is uh, this one right here, and see if it's giving you the same type. No, March corn doesn't have any friends. Here's March corn up to date. Let's just get this up on a 13-minute, and you'll see here. See how oh, it's moved a little bit. It's only moved, uh, well, it's moved nine cents. That's quite a bit for corn. So it has had some type of a movement, which is good. The only thing I'd be watching now, you can see this thing has been coming down for so long. Uh, let's just pr try this one more time. Oh, that's that's not going to work because it's too delete all. Let's just see from the last high we made, which was let's pick this one. Any of these would be fine. You want to see what the three eight? Since this was a pretty good uh, action, the three eight two doesn't come in here until four ten, which is another six uh, another six bucks higher. But um, this is something to keep an eye on. We had a nice run here. And then it backed off. Let's just double check. Last time we had a good rally in the corn, we went to, uh, we rallied 15 cents. Okay. Now this one here has already gone more than that in the first day. You see how this took uh, a day, pretty much a day to do this. We did this in just a matter of an hour or two. So that's telling us that we're starting to make a bottom in the corn market. So we're getting close. So just be patient. We'll be there when the then the, when the when the uh, lady starts to sing, as they say, over in to, to, Tombstone, Arizona. Now, if you want to get – this is March corn. You don't want to have anything to do with March. You want to stay in the December. So here's the action in December. If you did the same thing that you did in the wheat, in other words, buy the first 382 retracement off of this. Now, that would be down – right now, it would be right here at 452. And then you put your stop right below that. So that's how you would handle that. So watch for this. If you want to get long the corn, watch for a 382. Maybe it comes from up here. I don't know. But buy that first 382 retracement. That was exactly the same thing 
that we did right here in the week. You see, had the big run. Let's get this out of the way so we can re revisit it. There was the run we had. We bought it on the pullback right there, and then we sold it on the ABCD right up against this uh, level right here because we were right at the 618 of that other high, which was right there, and that's where it was time to say good night, and that's where we took the profit, and then we've been out of it ever since. Had I seen this earlier this morning, I probably would have been – looking at very, very closely, but uh, I was looking at uh, a lot of things, as you can imagine. Okay, let's take a little break, and we've got the wizard from Naples, Florida. Norm Winsky is going to be our guest here in just a minute, okay? So we'll be right back. Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly Gold Report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African RAND, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at tfnn.com. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen, as well as many more, and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year T-bonds as they both influence Forex markets tremendously. When you sign up for the Tiger Forex Report, you also gain instant access to Teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted, Forex Strategies and Fundamentals, What is Behind the Tiger Forex Report. For all the details and to start your 30-day Tiger Forex Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, we're back, folks, and I believe we have direct from Naples, Florida, via Terre Haute, Indiana, none other than the wizard himself, Norm Winsky. Welcome, Mr. Winsky. Thank you, Larry. I think hey, I want to I, I want to apologize about Friday because I lost all electricity and internet the last three hours of the day, and you were scheduled to come on, and there was nothing I could do about it. I sat here in the dark, hoping you were okay. So please join us today and tell us what you're looking at, my friend. Wow, sorry for your troubles there on Friday. You it's got, okay. You it's all past. 
Larry, you got to feed the hamster. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Get that um, hamster running the generator, you know. I'm on it all the time. Anyway, I only got notice that I was coming on your show just a little while ago, so I did not have time to update my charts. I apologize to the folks, but we're going to have to do a Friday show today, which uh, th charts as of Thursday night. And speaking of my charts, I'm having some technical issues uh, with my chart program, so I'm not able to use my chart program. So I had to go uh, get the charts off the Internet, so they're less than ideal, but that's where we're at. I apologize for that. Uh, we can still, uh, we are still operational though, so there we go. So moving ahead here now, I was last on your show on the 9th, I think, the 9th of February. And uh, we had a new moon coming up that, that night, that weekend. That was a Friday. And so we're going to be looking at the new moon. By the way, that was a new moon in the sign of Aquarius at Perigee. As you know, Larry, that only occurs... Every 14 months, you might get two in a in a 13, 14 month window there. But then it, it, the the perigee cycle is when the moon's closest to the Earth as it goes around the Earth. That's uh, that's a little different cycle than new moon, full moon, and so there's they only get in sync about every 13 to 14 months, and then it phases out again. You know, so as we have that, that's important because we also had that coming up in March too. All right, so we have the moon, new moon in Aquarius at Perigee. Anytime we have a new moon, full moon, we look at financial screens, precious metals, oil, and in this case, because it's in the sign of Aquarius, running is special on copper. Aquarius is copper. And then the night of the 12th, we had geocentric. That's from the point of view of the Earth, Mars entering Aquarius. Again, we have copper. And then uh, the night of the 13th, we had Venus zero south latitude, a Venus cycle, and our Venus markets are cattle, copper, cotton, sugar, and wheat. Now let's go to our first market. Here's your lunar point here on the corn. You did get a little pop-up there from over the weekend into the Monday. The uh, uh, Monday was a, two, uh, 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 a Tuesday. All right, so you did get a little bit of a, a low there and a rally for the corn. So that's a winner. That's a green arrow. And soybeans made a low there also and had a little pop-up. So you had a chance to make some small money. Uh, so that's a green arrow. Wheat we went absolutely sideways. So we had two windows for wheat, and they are both sideways. Uh, the way this works is these astro points, change in trend windows, are like inflection points. So they're mirror points. If we're going up, up, up. Then about 75% of the time, the market will reverse and go down, down, down within one day of our tar target date. And if it's going down, 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 then we look for it to reverse to go up, up, up. However, if it, think of a mirror now. It's a mirror point. So if it's going sideways and it's going to be a mirror image after that point, then you're probably just going to get more sideways. In this case, you, know, you went sideways for a couple of days before the big drop there, although that last extra point. Uh, was uh, uh, kind of a relative high, I guess, but you would never would have known because you're going sideways, so you didn't know whether it was a high or a low. All right, anyway, the wheat went sideways. We did nothing there. Cattle had a nice de de decline right near our Venus window there, and then a big up. <coughs> the cotton just kept going up, so that's a miss. That's what this looks like with the red arrow there. It, we didn't. We were about a day, one to two days early on the cotton. Uh, sugar, that also was a miss. That just went a little bit lower afterwards, so no chance to make any money there. However, copper was nearly perfect. Our first point there was uh, the moon in Aquarius, and you can see there we were near that low within a day, and then we went up for a day, and a nice rally for a one, two-day rally, and then we made a top there and pulled back into our Venus point, and then you had a big rally there in copper from that point. So that, those were all winners there. Silver, the regular had a little bit of a rally into the moon, and then it declined. I think last year I was like 90, over 90% winners on silver, and most of it was just the moon. And uh, back to your, what was that lady's name again, Larry? Uh, Ruth, Mary Rivers, uh, is that right? Like Mary that. Rivers, yeah. <laughs> hey, wow. I, 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 I never even knew her, and I remember her name. <laughs> yeah. All right, gold, gold uh, uh, misbehaved for the, one of the few times. 
it uh, did not uh, turn here, or, and so that was not a winner. That's a, a miss, and crude oil also a miss. Okay. So, but the S and P, we did really well in the S and P. We rallied right into the moon, made a top there, and we had about 120, 130 handle decline there into uh, the next day. Uh, well, there's right there you gap down, and then you're down there into the about the 13th for a low. And then we also had this Venus point here, and then we had a nice rally. So they were those were all winners. Here's the T bonds. They were a miss there. They w went down. They didn't reverse there. Here's the dollar. We just went sideways. However, the several so the other currencies did nicely. You rallied into the moon there, and then a big decline in the Aussie dollar. Rallied in the British pound, and then had a nice decline on the pound. Uh, rallied on the Canadian dollar, and then a big decline in the Canadian dollar, and a rally in the euro, and then a big decline on the euro. All right, so we add up the green arrows and the red arrows. We got 14 winners, five misses out of 19, for 73.68 percent. Uh, let's go look at now what's coming. What as of Friday, what was coming up over the weekend was uh, that was the 23rd, and we had a full moon in Virgo. And so anytime we have full moon, new moon, we look at financials, grain specials, metals, oil, and soybeans. We're running a special now on soybeans. I don't know. Uh, let's see. We'll have to look at the – let's go back and look at the bean chart here. We're back to the top. See if you, – you have the advantage now of looking and seeing – well, so I didn't ha even have beans. Although they are. Yeah, beans were declining. I would – we need to make a low for that to work. We need to make a low by today. In soybeans, for that to be uh, effective, I think I think Larry a little while ago was showing the corn chart. Looked like it might yeah. be making a low. Is that right? Uh, Larry? Yeah, it's, it's rallied. It's both beans and, and corn have rallied about eight or nine cents off the bottom. All right, and uh, you, I don't know if you get the sentiment uh, numbers every week, but the corn numbers are in the, the grains are yeah. in the uh, about as low as they can get. They're uh, twenty percent <laughs> bulls on the. You know, in the 20s, yeah. you know, that's really low. <laughs> the cell will ever go below 20, right? Well, I, you, you never know. But, you know with with corn, got, corn, broke four dollar, corn broke $4 a bushel today before it reversed, so we haven't seen corn that low in, I think, four years. Hey, let's yeah. take a break here, Norm. we got to pay a few bills for TW, okay. uh, TFNN, and then we'll be right back with Norm Winsky of Astro Trends out of Naples, Florida. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. 
Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, we're back, folks, speaking with Norm Winsky, Astro Trends. Please continue, Norman. Commercial there. Uh, we were talking about expecting a low in the grains today. They have to turn no later than tomorrow morning, or it's it's uh, it, or it's uh, no good. The valid invalid deal. It's a miss. All right. Now uh, also coming up at the end of this week over the March one weekend, we have Jupiter making a forty five degree angle to Neptune, and because Jupiter is in Taurus, the bull. You, you were talking about cattle. Well, we got a possible turning point here for cattle over the next weekend. Into I think you said, did you say something about Monday the fourth for is that cattle or another market? Some market. Oh, uh, that wasn't about, cattle. Like, no, I I just did uh, a simple time count. That's all I did. You know, I. All right. Oh, by the way, yeah. I didn't mention that stocks potentially respond to all these events. Okay, it's yeah. the big basket of everything. So it's a little bit of everything is in the stock market. So we got cattle, we got cotton. And Neptune is oil, okay? So that's what we got coming up here in the next, uh, right, now, right now and at the end of the week. Now, last time I was on your show on the 9th, I talked about every February I do these annual forecasting models. Some are just for fun and some are actually have some merit to them. Uh, one of the ones that longer term has had a good track record. Which I talked about the January barometer, you know, as January goes, so goes the year. And then there's something called the Super Bowl. Uh, indicator which says uh, uh, almost the same thing the NFL that's the National Football League is subdivided uh -huh. into two conferences NFC AFC if the NFC uh, the two t the champion of each conference meets in the Super Bowl NFC team is the Bulls AFC team are the Bears whoever wins indicates how the market would end uh, for the year uh, this is uh, missed a couple of years now uh, but longer term, it's probably about 75% accurate over the plus 50 years, you know. So uh, this year, we I'm going to jump now when I was on your show on Saturday, on Friday. The night, obviously, we didn't know how the game was going to come out. The January barometer, which we know in advance of the Super Bowl, said that we should have an up year. That would indicate that the N NFC team, the San Francisco 49ers, should win the Super Bowl. We were looking good the first half of the game, and uh, <laughs> then the second half of the game, uh, the AFC Kansas City Chiefs uh, came back to tie in regular, regular time, and then in overtime, they won. So here's the chart of the game. Uh, if we think of this as an analog for the year, and by the way, this is the only second time in Super Bowl history that we had an overtime game. So I don't know how to, frankly, don't know how to handle that. But just for fun, we'll take this literally and say that the strongest part of this year will be the first uh, half of the year into the May. This is the second quarter of the game, second quarter of the year. So we should peak out somewhere around May or so. And then we're going to kind of erode in the second half of the year. And then by the end of the year, we might be even 
Although the January Browner says we're going to have up here, maybe it will be up slightly. And then maybe in the first quarter of 2025, that's your overtime, uh, then we might have a bit of a decline. You know, the, if it's going up, that's NFC uh, 49ers. And uh, going down, we, that was the Kansas City Chiefs. And there's your zero point there. So anyway, that's my little forecasting model. I don't know anybody else is doing this. In past years, uh, there were a few years where it was totally amazing and forecasted quarter by quarter what the stock market did. I know it's crazy, but that's what I <laughs> – but it's kind of a fun thing. I, uh, I, I okay, have a we, thing we about forecasting a, models. What's that? We have a question from one of our listeners out of Wichita, okay. Kansas, and he is asking – uh, have you ever seen a situation like what we had when the NVIDIA uh, increased their earnings and or whatever the earnings report was last Thursday and every single market in the world was up that day? Have you ever seen anything where one stock moved every moved everything? That's the question. Uh, yeah, occasionally you see you're talking about NVIDIA. Uh, in, yes. well, the uh, NVIDIA uh, I don't follow individual stocks, but over my 50 years of sure. experience, sure, we've seen that this kind of stuff happen before. You know? Okay, that's the answer. Yeah. I hope. But the, but, I the mo but the but the most important thing is that we right. had a, a new a new moon. Oh, I had a full full moon. I'm sorry, a full moon over this past weekend. That's what's important. And okay. then we went sideways on Friday, which uh, did not give you a very good setup. I talked about the mirror effect, <coughs> and what we liked it. What we would like to see is the market continue higher into the weekend, and then it would have been. A very high percentage uh, opportunity to go short and, and for the market to go down. That's not what happened though. So that's sometimes you just have to take a pass when when in doubt, stay out. You know. I like so anyway, that I've been doing this one. been doing this a long time, almost as long as Larry. I was uh, made enough money trading on the astrology based on. I bought this. I uh, stumbled on a book called Donald Bradley Stock Market Prediction and. Uh, and what I saw there, I, I went and researched to see if it was right, and I ended up making enough money while I was in college, ended up buying a membership on the Chicago Board Options Exchange in 1975, and right out of college, I moved uh, within one week of finishing school. I went to school there, like Larry alluded to, at Indiana State in Terre Haute, and I moved to Chicago, and one week later, I was on the floor as a member and market maker on the CBOE and did that for 12 years. Also, we were in the Board of Trade building. They put Chicago Board of Trade created CBOE, so I also traded on there for a, a little while, too. So anyway, I, got some, I think I have a little bit of experience, and I'll be happy to share that with the folks. They'd like to contact me. I've studied all these things, GAN, Elliott Wave, Astro, Astrophysics, Astrology, I have a background in music, cycles, Fibonacci, take you to advanced Fibonacci land, and all kinds of things. So there we go. And I like to reduce things to simple. I'm big on simple. I try to reduce complicated stuff to no more than a fifth grade level. I, 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 that's where I'm at. I'm, I have a grade school mind, you know. Yep. So there we go. And let's see. You can reach me at, uh, you can call me here in beautiful Naples, Florida. At two three nine five nine four three nine three nine, or you can call me on Skype at N Winsky. That's N W I N S K I Yahoo dot com, or you can email me at the same address. And looking forward to helping some of your folks there, Larry. Norman, we're going to have you on again soon, so please keep us informed when you want to come on next because you've been pretty good. We, you made it miss the football game, but that was because the refs probably fixed it. You know how that goes, right? <laughs> Who knows? Okay. Anyway, thanks for joining us, Norm. We'll have you on again shortly for sure. Okay. Thanks a lot, Larry. You bet. Okay. Norm Winsky, folks, Astro Trends out of Naples, Florida. And we always have an open end of invitation to Norm if he sees something really super special. They will have him on instantaneously because sometimes these things go and go very quickly into the night, and we try not to miss them if we can. We also want to thank Grace Morris for being on the show uh, last week. She just really had an incredible track record of these uh, NASDAQ stocks that have been going up forever, and they're continuing to go up forever. So we need to keep that in mind as we look. We've got a break coming up here, I believe. In right now, and then when we get back, we'll finish up the show. So stay with us, folks. 877 927 6648.
If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no cash or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, I posted a chart of Christmas corn, December corn. Had a little pullback here early this morning. This only four minute chart, but we've had a 13 cent. Rally. That's one of the largest rallies we've had in a long time in corn. Yeah, it is. So let's pay attention to that. What I'll be doing is I'm going to be probably talking about maybe taking a nibble. If you make a 382 off of any high right now, that would come in down in this area right here. All right. Take a look at the next one here, which is the cash S&P. Uh, excuse me, it's the S&P futures. Here was a 382 pattern right here. You can see it measured right down to the 1.618 expansion. That's the APCD. Now, the first thing you'd want to be watching is to watch for the 382 all for the whole range of the day. And that would bring it down in here one more time right there, which, which would be up about another 60 Dow points from where we are right now. Remember, this is micro trading, but that's how these 382s work. So any move going below here now, below that 390.60, is going to tell us that there's trouble in River City and we're probably going to get a pretty good correction in the uh, stock market, especially in, well, the Dow Jones, the Russell, and the uh, NASDAQ. So that's what we're looking at. Since we have a minute or two to go here, let's take a quick look here at the NASDAQ. Someone just asked that question, if we can get it up here, there it is. We'll just do the hourly on this, and you'll see that it's had a pretty big rally after the high. This was the one, move this over just a little bit. This was the uh, overnight low, 
you can see the range here looks like we made about a 61% retracement right on the money. There's your high from uh, Friday. There's your, well, look at this, 61% right on the money, held it. So this market has shown no indication of breaking down. If it gets below 1760, down, which is way down in here somewhere, then it's a little bearish. But right now, not so much. Live every day in an attitude of gratitude, and may God bless.